Thank you so much to the official channel sponsor, the Wealth Masters Club, for helping ordinary people make money through property investments in specialized trust. Click the link in the description to find out more. Ladies and gentlemen, let's prop in. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Prop In. If this is your first time here, I go with Nemo Sbia Sbia. What we do on this channel is that we explore and showcase some of the most beautiful homes in and around South Africa. Today, we are in Lednado, Cape Town, looking at a seven bedroom home, 5.5 bathroom home. A very stunning home. Before we get into the tour, massive shout out to Jody for giving us access to her stunning listing. I'll put her details and the listing details down below in the description. As always, if you haven't yet subscribed, smash that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up. It really does help the channel reach a lot more people out there. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's prop in. So starting the tour on the street level, this is the main entrance to this home. This home has four levels, all with different arrangements in terms of the bedrooms, seven bedrooms and also 5.5 bathrooms in this whole home. So this is the main motor, co motor court, uh, park about eight cars, six to eight cars, two car garage, both sides. So that's a total of four cars, if my math does serve me correct. So this is the main entrance here. As soon as you walk in, you're greeted by this stunning sort of reception area, very well lit because above us you have this sort of curved ceiling which has this glass sort of effect that brings in ton of lighting. To my right, this door is access to the parking garage, two car parking garage, very neat, one of the neatest parkings we've seen around. Behind you guys, stunning circle mirror, which we, a window which we will see a little bit later downstairs. To my right and to your guys' left, that's the lift which services each floor, can use the lift to get to each, each of the floors. Today, we're using stairs. So as soon as coming down the stairs, one thing I do love about the home are these glasses, these, these side rails that they used throughout the home, they use glass, which gives you that endless feel of space. Very cool light fixture here. Um, as soon as you enter this bedroom, here the lift comes out here, you can still access this floor from this lift. So walking into this room, all the floors within this home are sort of this, gla this glossy tile white finish with these gray veins, gives you that minimalist clean look to it. First bedroom, stunning, you'll see without, throughout the home, these bedrooms are very spacious. Lots of, lots of amounts of storage, aircon in each, in each bedroom and the views from each different level of this home, they try to sort of um, show you a little bit of the, the view from different angles. So even though the bedrooms are quite similar, they just have slightly different variations on the view that you have. So this, um, this home here, in terms of the view that you have, you have the mountain view and the ocean views. So coming this side onto the next bedroom, this bedroom is slightly larger and has a slightly different different view to it. So as soon as you walk in, I mean, look at that. That's, that's stunning, that circular window which has this endless views of the ocean on a day like this where Cape Town's actually showing off. It's very stunning. So coming in here, very spacious. Walking here, you have this walk-in closet with these built-in cupboards with these roller doors. And throughout the home, one thing you'll also notice is that because the home is quite cascading into the, the landscape, into the sort of the terrain, you, it, you find it quite tough to, to get light into the home. So one thing that did, they did use is a lot of 
sky lighting to introduce a lot of light into this home because there's only light from one direction, which is the ocean direction. So coming this side, beautiful, stunning room. I mean, waking up to these views every single day must be something. And with this room, you even get a balcony, again with these see-through balustrades throughout wrapping around. And one thing I do love about the home is the sort of the external facade. You have this interesting architectural um, detail with these beams and columns, which we will see when we get down to the pool area later. Aircon, as I've said, you have these roller blinds um, throughout. So very cool room, good size. So coming back this side, with this room, you get this bathroom here, which I, I, I'd actually consider this the main bedroom. There's, there's two main bedrooms. Um, very, very beautiful bathroom here, very white, but to balance that out, you have a pop of color, which I think is so beautiful. This, this uh, turquoise uh, black backsplash of tiling. It's very interesting, and I think it's quite clever right, just to liven up the space. Large shower, massive rainwater shower head, beautiful black fixtures, I love that. So here you have these beautiful living stone basins, two mirrors and these suspended uh, light fixtures, very stunning. Obviously you have this arrangement of this open shelving, I'm sure this is soft close. Um, soft close, we love that. And if you may take a look at this beautiful tab fixture, standalone tab fixture, servicing this standalone bathtub. I mean, from here you even have a little bit of view of the ocean, having a bath here, something special. So coming back outside here, onto where we just came from, this was the first bedroom which we came from. Now we're going onto the, the floor below. Let's look at the other bedrooms. Coming down onto this level, beautiful staircase. I love the, the sort of the grand, the dark, the dark gray finish to these chairs and then the tiling to the risers. Very interesting. Here, before you get into this bedroom, you have a little bit of built-ins here just to store your towels and all that type of stuff. Coming into this bedroom, a bit smaller than the, the master bedroom, but still a good size. You, you also have access to a balcony amazing endless views and one thing i do love about landadno it's very peaceful very tranquil i mean on a day like this you can have sort of a peaceful sunday behind you guys a lot of storage there with this lovely gloss finish and black handles i really love those that those black details beautiful arrangement of these stack doors where you can just open them up and you have these um magnificent views of the ocean and here, it's a beautiful detail. You have this large balcony, which goes from each different bedroom, which is accessible from each different bedroom. And above us or behind you guys, you have this beam detail, which wraps around um, the whole, it's, it's continuous between it, all over the home. Um, this beam detail and these column arrangements, very stunning. Uh, it's quite unique. I haven't seen anything like that. So these are the other four bedrooms, which we will see. But coming back this side into the path, looking at this bathroom, very stunning bathroom, abundant amount of natural lighting coming through the skylight. And I love the backsplash tiling finish um, that they use for this wall, introducing a, a, a bit more of that pop of color against the white finish, the white tile finish uh, on these walls. Two shower heads, large shower heads with this matte black finish. I really find that stunning and a very neat outlet from there. Coming back this side into the bedrooms. This is the next bedroom. Also quite similar to the one that we were just at. Um, it also has these stacked doors which fold all the way to the sides and you have these endless views and also access to this balcony. Quite similar in terms of the finishes and good size. The next bedroom um, is very, very different to the one which, which we just were at. This one's slightly bigger different angle to the views of the, the ocean. And this one has a bathroom this way. This bathroom I, I find really stunning because you really see that pop of color with the pink uh, tiling finish uh, behind there. Standalone bath, a little bit of natural lighting coming through this window because it is a relatively dark room. 
large shower head, inter interesting uh, composition of this shower, um, but they made it work. Two, two basins, lovely. I love these, these light fixtures, suspended light fixtures that they use. It has this sort of like black tint towards it. It gives, it, gives this room a little bit of a mood. Um, coming back to this side and back into the pathway. And now we're gonna go down to the, the level below where we're gonna see one more bedroom and the main sort of entertainment area. So coming down this floor, in front of me you get another bedroom here. This bedroom has beautiful views, it almost has uh, also access to the balcony with this see-through balustrade, large window. I love when windows open up that, that openly to allow fresh air, just natural lighting to come through. It almost feels like there's the, it limits the barrier between the indoors and outdoors, very beautiful. And amount, lots of amounts of storage here. I mean, you can never complain with this um, amount of storage here. And uh, coming back to this side, to my right, you get the server room there. And coming down here, this to my right, you get the powder room, which is quite convenient, very beautiful. Um, firstly, <laughs> very, very beautiful, but it's very convenient having it here because here you have the main living floor. Um, you have the lounge area here, aircon. I love these sort of modern tribal art pieces. It, it complements the space so well. And these floor to ceiling windows, very stunning. It opens up these endless views so well. Um, double volume ceiling. Uh, I mean, the space is just gorgeous. Coming this side and Throughout this whole space, you always have sort of access to this view, which I really love. Uh, this is the kitchen here, very stunning finishes. You have this darker uh, granite type of finish, and here you have this lighter one. Cabin trees throughout. Um, this is the, this is the self-contained unit, which we will see just a bit now. Fully integrated appliances, smeg throughout. This, I love the gloss, this dark gloss finish. So this cabin tree. Here you have the sink and basically everything you need, washing machine, dishwasher, everything really that you need. And I love this window here. It, it brings a little bit of fresh air to the space. So coming out into the entertainment area, actually one thing I did just notice is that this space is so large that you can even have sort of a dining room table, a dining setup here. It's very versatile. So coming into the entertainment sort of balcony, patio, it flows so effortlessly because of these these sliding doors which open up perfectly and opens up the space very well. So coming out, you have this beautiful dining, sort of a fresco type of setup here where it has uh, 10 seating uh, spaces. Lounges here, and this is the self-contained unit on my right that I was speaking about, where it has its own bathroom, it has its own sort of kitchenette um, setup. In front of me here, you have this bright area, beautiful se seating spot here at when you are Brian, you're hosting people, they can just be sit sitting here if um, they're trying to maybe have conversations with you while you're Brian. So this home can easily host about 100 people. Um, so it's very versatile. You can, you can entertain a lot of people, but it can also be sort of an intimate family type of home. Very versatile. So in front of me, you have this stunning, beautiful jacuzzi, which currently is not operational. Um, but this is a stunning place to have a jacuzzi. While you're sitting in the jacuzzi, you have these endless views and this, this greenery surrounding you, very beautiful. And because this home is on sort of, um, sort of on a, a cascading hill, you have your own privacy and just peace around here. And surrounding it, the perimeter, you have these see-through balustrades, which do help sort of give you that endless feel of views. So coming back inside, we're going to go to the floor below where we're going to see the main entertainment area and the cinema. Let's go. But before we get to the floor below, one thing I should mention in terms of security, you have the shutter, shutter door where you can shut down uh, when you do go to bed at night. Shut it down and then create a little bit of security. So coming down here, one thing I do want to point out a special detail is this beautiful suspended chandelier 
uh, glass fixture. Beautiful, lights up the space very well, and also with these with these side obscure glass um, glass windows, lights up this sort of moment very well. So below us here, you get the cinema, which is very stunning. And in terms of the size of the actual cinema, I think it's more than big enough to to have friends over and really have sort of uh, a movie night. So here you get the cinema, very good size. Uh, around the cinema, you get this material around just for noise insulation, which is very perfect for this type of room. And behind you, you get this roller door, which you can close if all of you guys are here for like a movie night. And aircon, um, which is very necessary for a room like this. Above us, you actually have such a cool detail of this blue sort of paint lighting at the top which introduces like sort of a new element and color to the room. I love the space um, and this is very comfortable. I sat on it a bit earlier. So coming down here, this is the main sort of entertainment area. This is actually where the home actually shows off its entertaining quality. This is the entertainer's dream. You have this large setup with the couch set up here. Ping pong table, we got, we're going to go that side just now. But I really love these double volumes and these large mirrors. It brings a lot of lighting to the space. Um, you won't need a lot of like sort of lighting to light up the space. You just have natural lighting. Aircon throughout this room. Sound, sound um, connected or connected sound throughout also this room. Bar setup to my right, you have this ping pong, uh, ping pong table, TV, console setup, very, very useful for this type of setup. And this is this black screening is something which I've always thought about. Uh, want, why, why don't they do more often? Uh, why don't they do this more often? Because uh, if you're watching TV so, for, so from a distance, it, the, if it have like sort of a white wall, it does sort of obscure your vision. But if you have a, a black screen behind it, the, the viewing of the TV is so much better. Here you have a powder room which has sort of a shower with it. Because when you come down from the swimming area, you don't have to go all the way up. You can just come here, get a shower. Love, love, love the real estate on this countertop. Lots of countertop. Built-ins here just to store some things and open shelving just to put your drinks there. Now coming outside here, here you have a little bit of a balcony sit sitting arrangement here. Even from here you can enjoy these views on a day like this, very special. So coming down there to the where the pool is, but from, from the pool side, you actually have a, such a beautiful view of the whole home and sort of the architecture and the external facade of the building. Um, so the pool currently isn't, hasn't, there hasn't been the people living here for a while, so the pool isn't in the best condition. But I'm sure we will show you guys a couple of um, B-roll shots of when it is sort of looking good to give you the full experience of this home. So looking up, this is stunning. I love the finish. I love sort of the, the lighter colors that were used for the external finish, the paint. And on the right side, you get this darker gray finish. And as I said before, you have these columns and these beam um, details all throughout the home wrapping around very very interesting uh, and unique so the stair king wraps, ar wraps around the whole pool lovely space to entertain people and overall this is a beautiful home just for a big home entertaining I mean on a summer day like this I'd love to have a couple of people here a couple of you guys of the fans here enjoying this home but if you did enjoy this video thank you so much for getting this far as always if you haven't yet subscribed do go subscribe. It tells a lot. It tells us a lot that you guys want to see the videos. And before we end the tour, massive shout out to Jody for giving us this amazing opportunity to look at her listing. I'll put the details as always down in the description. As always, from myself and Neo to you guys. See you soon.